Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. As you can see, the weather's finally cleared up. Get out and about. Weather's still bonkers, by the way. About how a lot of people spend a lot of their time worrying about things. And they worry so much about things. Like, it really affects their everyday lives. Constant worrying about what might happen and what could happen and what maybe might happen. All this worrying. And when you spend a lot of your time and energy worrying about what might happen and what could happen, it can make you absolutely miserable. And if you do it excessively, it can even make you ill. And you know, when I'm in a situation where I'm trying to figure something out, the first thing I always say to myself is, what's the worst thing that can happen? You know, and a lot of people don't do that. Their mind just runs away with them and they're just in this sort of automatic pilot of incessant worrying. But when you ask yourself, what's the worst thing that can happen? What you'll find is that thing usually never happens. What you find is that outcome usually never happens. Because what we tend to do is we always fear the worst. It's always the worst case scenarios. And our minds are so creative and so imaginative that they can imagine the worst things possible. Oh, there's Luna. Can you say hello? There you go. <laughs> so if you think back to times when you were facing problems in your life, they could be small ones, could be medium ones, could be big ones. We all face problems all the time to all varying degrees. But if you look back and you think, how did you handle that? Did the things that happen, did the things that occur and the things you imagined, did they happen? Or were they nothing like what you thought they were going to be? And usually one of the reasons why we don't is because we forget. Because sometimes when you worry, it becomes such automatic that you don't realize a lot of the time you're doing it. And then when it's over, you forget all those things that you were imagining. And you might have breathed a sigh of relief and then carried on until the next time it happened. Because what the mind does is the mind will bring you every single thought imaginable. Anything that's possible, negative and it will bring that to the surface of your thinking and it will play on it and play on it and play on it to bring fear because when we face problems we're scared and it's natural to be scared so it's going to bring all these things to make you even more scared now also what can create a lot of worry is your own confidence levels, your confidence in your ability, emotional and psychological ability, but also your practical ability to be able to solve problems. So the less efficient that you are in your confidence and in your self-worth, the more you're gonna to tend to worry a lot and over-dramatize it. The more confidence you have in yourself, and it makes sense, the more confidence you have in your worth and your ability, the easier it's going to be for you to solve these things and you're not going to tend to let your mind run away with you. So the other thing that we need to bring into consideration as well is experience. So if you've experienced what you're going through, again, you know, like when we repeat patterns, if this is something that's reoccurring, you will have a memory of that. Now, depending on how that last outcome went will also depend 
sorry if the parrots, we've got a lot of parakeets here and they're very noisy birds, they're very, very ter ter territorial, sorry, and uh, they do an awful lot of screeching, but they are beautiful little birds, so they're squawking here at Luna because they see her as a threat, but anyway, so if you've went through that experience before, and say it was a negative experience and it took you a long time to figure it out, then you automatically are going to go back to that memory bank and that's going to bring up more fear because you didn't have such a good experience with it in the past. So it's something you've got to remember. You've got to realise that a lot of the worrying can be to do with a past experience which you don't want to let in in to interfere with what you're trying to solve now and vice versa if you've had a good experience in the past then it's going to be more positive but your mind will still and, and try to make you avoid it because you've got to realize that you're thinking your brain is there is trying to protect you all the time so what it does is it tries to run the show and even though there's maybe nothing really that terrible that you have to worry about. Your brain, especially if it's an unknown thing or it's something that you've had a negative experience of in the past, it's going to try and do everything it can to prevent you or to worry you or caution you about your road ahead. So what one of the things that you can try to do is if your mind is running away with you, is to start to become aware of what you're actually thinking. So say you're thinking like, oh, I'm gonna lose my job and then that's gonna to lead to me losing my house and that's gonna make me be homeless and then I'm gonna have no money and then I'm gonna be a bum on the street. So you know what I mean, your mind can go to all sorts of lengths. Whereas in reality, maybe you lose your job, maybe you don't lose your job, but it would have to be pretty devastating circumstances for it to go all the way down that road to that end. You know what I mean? So start to look at what your thoughts are actually trying to tell you and ask yourself, and if you want to write them down, sometimes it can be better because then you can see it clearly and you think, right, okay, is that a realistic thing that could happen? And you say yes or no and then you get rid of it. And that's one way to stop the worrying. Now, if you come across something, say, and it's a possibility that it could happen, then you put down, okay, that is a possibility, but what's the worst thing that could happen if that comes true? And you go through those points one by one by one, and then that way it'll bring clarity to your mind and it'll actually start to help you solve these things and look at them properly, clearly, and it'll bring peace to you because then you'll be doing something positive and you won't be letting your mind run away with you because what happens is when your thoughts start to run away with you, you can't think clearly anymore. You can't come up with solutions because your thoughts start to run the whole show and then you just get into this sort of endless loop of worrying and then when you start worrying you start talking about it all the time you start talking to people about it all the time and it sort of becomes your everyday life you know your every waking moment so you want to try and avoid that from happening so jot them down yes or no answers is it likely what's the worst thing that could happen from that and then you can start to maybe find solutions. And what you'll find is you'll probably see that your mind is totally and utterly running away down a direction that probably will never ever happen. So as I said earlier as well, if you're facing a challenge or a problem that is new to your experience, it's something you've never dealt with before, then your mind will tend to go into hyperdrive with that and that's when people tend to worry an awful lot more because they don't have any reference to it from the past good or bad
the square on it there. So when we're facing new things, then your brain tends to go into overdrive with these things. So you need to be mindful of that. And one of the best ways to counteract this is, apart from writing them down, also, if you are someone who tends to constantly worry about things, overthink about things, start to do other things with your mind. And one of the best things you can do is to actively engage your mind in other things because when your mind is engaged in other things it can't do two things at once it can't worry and be engaged in something else so creative projects like art like music like drama anything that you like to do that's creative building things hobbies whatever there's an endless amount and also reading or writing and it's a really good way for your mind to get active and be involved and to let your imagination then sort of run wild and get creative and get imaginative and it will take it away from putting it into worry. But so when you're engaged in these types of projects, you can't worry and have your imagination active within something else. So it's a really, really good way. And what happens as well then is your mind will start to bring you positive thoughts, positive thinking, rather than negativity coming through when you're worrying all the time. Because when you're engaged in these types of projects and these types of creative pursuits, what you tend to find is because you've switched off that side of your brain, that gets a rest and it will tend to then maybe bring you solutions because you're not constantly, constantly in this state of trying to figure out what's going on and what if this happens and what if that happens. The brain gets a chance to rest and actually then try to figure it out for you. And when this happens, what you'll find is then your brain will probably actually be quite tired because people who worry a lot tend to really overwork their brain and it really tires their brain out. But what you've got to understand is all of these what ifs, that's all they are. They're what ifs, they're not reality. It's your, your brain going on overdrive and trying to imagine every scenario that could possibly happen. And what you tend to find is it very, very rarely happens and turns out the way that we imagine it. Most of the time, even if you go through a stressful period, it usually actually turns out for the best or turns out better than what we expected. And the thing is, no matter what challenges you're facing, there's always a solution. Maybe you don't have it, but somebody else will. So if there's something that you don't understand, then educate yourself ask people or go to the right people look it up and try and find solutions people who can help you if you don't have the answers because sitting around and worrying about it day in day out is not going to bring you those answers it's just going to make you not well and it's also going to stop you finding the solutions because your brain is too busy getting caught up in all the what ifs and the number one most important thing you have to remember through all of this is that the most important thing is you is your self-care and worrying and stressing out is one of the worst things that you can do for your own mental well-being so take care of yourself first and then look for solutions and if you don't have the answers find people who do because there are always solutions out there so until next time stop worrying and start living take care